it's a shame what we see what's going on across not just uh, uh, this uh, county of Kings here in Brooklyn, but across the city and state of New York. Uh, we're facing something that is, uh, a, I believe, uh, a major, major consequences for uh, the ratepayers here in the uh, state of New York. Uh, being here in Kings County, unfortunately, Brooklyn is the uh, uh, capital of the world when it comes to no-fault insurance, Medicaid fraud, and Medicare fraud. And uh, just uh, to point out and going and staying on the no-fault system, we are the third uh, highest, uh, the highest insurance premiums in the nation. Uh, if you take a look in 2005, it was $5,700. Today, the average is $9,600, an increase of 54% just in the past uh, five years. Think about that. That is every tax rate payer that's in this great uh, community has increased uh, their uh, share of insurance and they keep on paying and some as high as 12 to 18 to $2,000 a policy uh, increase because we in the state of New York have not put forth the right legislation that would put these people where they belong in jail. And I'm going to work, as I have in the past, with the District Attorney Charles Hines here, uh, District Attorney in uh, Queens, uh, DA Vance, uh, and of course, working with uh, my good friends in Staten Island, DA Donovan, and uh, DA Brown in Queens, who have fought the good fight in trying to do something about this no-fault uh, disaster that is on our hands. Uh, the additional uh, cost to New York is, is to the tune of hundreds of millions of dollars. That's just the no-fault hundreds of millions of dollars. I have one company, um, State Farm, that puts out for every dollar uh, it uh, pays, a dollar thirty. It's losing money. That company alone, $195 million that company is losing. And why? Because there are no areas, it's all civil penalties. There are no criminal penalties that are serious enough to put to catch and get these people in jail and to stop this fraud. There's no technology overlay to take a look of where and who's committing these crimes. There are runners out there that are getting away with steering uh, these individuals to these attorneys, and these attorneys are steering them into health care facilities that are all set up in a system to defraud the ratepayers.